Bread and pasta is made every day at Mike's favorite spot. It's close to his home and the place for his favorite dishes. Known locally as La Piccolo Italia, its menu tours Italy without leaving its location on Burlingame Avenue in Burlingame. And it's called Sapore Italiano Ristorante. My name is Elio, uh, this is Sapore Italiano. I, I own this restaurant uh, with my three partners, Angelo, Mario and Massimo. Sapore or in Italian means you know, Italian taste. We want to bring you know, the taste of Italy in the peninsula. We make everything from the scratch here. Angelo, he, he makes the best pasta. It's like Italy. Mario, Mario, he got so much creativity in any dish. First of all, all the produce, they are local, from a local market. The chef, four or five times a week, he goes shopping and buy all the vegetables. And also all the other stuff, like oil, tomato, truffle oil, we all import from Italy. You know, I miss my mom cooking from Italy, but, you know, Mario and Angelo, they, they've been recreate for me the same dishes, uh, you know, very, very similar to my mom cooking. I want to take this opportunity to say thanks to all the customers, a big grazie, eh, venite a mangiare qua. <laughs> Now, Mike, you're a vegetarian and you have been for 35 years? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes? For health reasons, for uh, taste reasons, for all of the above? Uh, all of the above, yeah. Uh, I refer to myself as an overweight vegetarian. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, I, I guess, I don't know, I guess this is being bad, but I have thinking football coach and, you know, and vegetarian coming Contra out of the same. Contradiction of itself, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. But, um, so this, Sapporo is your favorite place to go and you've been going for years, haven't you? Yes, uh, the restaurants, it, this November will be open 10 years, and it's just a great place. There, it's there's four owners. They're all born in southern Italy. One of the chefs is uh, both of them are culinary trained, but one was trained in Palermo, Sicily. And the the further south you get in Italy, the more you get into the spices, and they just know how to cook. They have eight pasta dishes on the menu. And the, all the pastas are homemade. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and uh, they'll have alternative pastas if you're a vegetarian. Uh, and you don't uh, don't want gluten type product. And the uh, chef's wife is a vegan, right? His wife is a vegan, right? Okay. So he is attuned to diet alternatives needed. Uh. Yeah, I, I love Italian food, and usually Italian food offers plenty of vegetarian options. But mm -hmm. I was surprised actually how many of the pasta dishes were. Um, all vegetarian. My favorite dish was my husband's dish. He got the capellini al pomodoro, so mm. it was the angel hair pasta, and I thought it was well executed with the sweet tomato sauce and the perfectly cooked pasta. I did love the fresh pasta. I had the spinach and ricotta ravioli, um, and again, the pasta was very nice and fresh. I thought the filling was a bit bland, mm -hmm. um, but you know, my husband's dish sort of offset that. Offset that. Now jump in here, Kathy. What what was your experience? Um, the pasta was good. It um it was hot. <laughs> 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 I, we, we okay. Had a, well, we had a little issue with the pizza. We ordered a pizza, and it was cold. And, oh. Yeah, and so that was a little bit disappointing. And so when the pasta arrived, we were like, mm -hmm. Oh, good. This is a hot <laughs> dish. And um, it had rock shrimp in it. The rock shrimp tasted fresh. But I can see where this restaurant, you would definitely want to stick with the pasta menu. Yes. And maybe not so much the other. Uh, I agree. Because um, actually, our appetizer, we had ordered the polenta with mushrooms and gorgonzola, which we were re really looking forward to. And then 15 minutes into our our stay, they told us they were actually, it wasn't available after mm. we had ordered it. So we were really disappointed that right. we didn't get our appetizer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And what did you have for an appetizer? C the carpaccio. Okay. Um, now that's cold, by the way. It was cold. <laughs> and, it's, and it's meat, cold and meat. And so it wasn't a vegetarian, but right. it, it was it was okay. But this is my one little little complaint about that dish was the mustard they served on the side was French's mustard out of the bottle. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So I it that does not go with carpaccio in, right. in my lineup of things. So right. I was a little bit disappointed in that. Is there something else that you would recommend that people try when they go? Um, again, I'm a, a big pasta enthusiast. And uh, spaghetti alle olio, which is uh, olive oil, garlic, uh, it's just wonderful. Um, they have a vegetarian cicato where it's a, a folded uh, pasta, mm -hmm. flat pasta, 
with a lot of uh, vegetables inside of it, and uh, that's very good also. They serve an antepasto that has just a bunch of wonderful things in it, right. you know. And you mentioned this place is owned by four friends. I mean, mm -hmm. did you get that feel that this is sort of a homestyle spot? How was oh, things yeah. like, uh, you know, how were things like service? I did see the table next to us getting the chef coming out and saying, hey, how are you doing? Unfortunately, I kind of felt my table was being ignored. Mm. Um, I kind of didn't get that that greeting, and right. you know we kind of had some you blunders. Need to go with Mike next yeah, we time, kind of had some blunders. We had the appetizer not come. We our waters weren't really being refilled. You know that that similar with me, and I think it's a real insider restaurant. I think we're yeah. on to something here. If you know the owners, it sounds like you've been going there a long time. You probably get primo service, uh, and <laughs> but it, we didn't get that great of service, and so maybe that's what they do. They Pay yeah, to the we, regulars. they brought us our check before we mm -hmm. had um, chance to order desserts. So we and we had wanted to order dessert. So yeah, yeah. So what did you get for dessert? Speaking of um, dessert, yeah. So dessert, you know, since I didn't have the appetizer, I was sort of still hungry. I wanted some something else. So we got the homemade ice cream um, with hazelnuts and chocolate sauce. And we were really actually disappointed with what showed up because it was I wasn't sort of envisioning this mountain, a scoop of ice cream with chocolate sauce labeled right. over it, and we had a sort of a briquettes or little bricks of ice cream that had hardly any chocolate sauce and um, it was it actually seemed freezer burned too. Ooh. It didn't seem homemade. Now Mike's not tackling you yet so yeah. obviously there's some. So, <laughs> so I don't know yeah maybe the ice you just, maybe right. you shouldn't go for the desserts there right. but. So do you have I mean you go all the time do you do you have you heard these experiences before or is it no. just are they, so the <laughs> no. food is delicious. I know they so make, that, the they make that fresh I usually get the tiramisu which is made fresh every day starting with the espresso that they yeah. they make in their uh, there and and uh, there are a lot of regulars there there are a lot of people that go back on a very regular basis. They are known entities, and um, you go back a couple of times and you become part of the family there. You know, usually Massimo and Ilio are the front end uh, managers, and they'll they'll greet you and bring you in and get to know you and uh, give you some wine. Yeah, and right, right, make right. And take family. care of things, yeah. and and, uh, and there's as I said, there's four owners, so they all want you to have a pleasurable experience, right. and. Uh, they're, they're feeding four families out of there, and it's a wonderful story of these four individuals that came over, opened this so restaurant. next time up, you guys yeah. are going to go with Mike. I can <laughs> yeah. you're going to get the pasta, you're going to forget Absolutely. the dessert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going to go in on the arms of him. Yeah, that's surprising <laughs> you said that about that dessert, because I ordered that one too, and, and they make that fresh there too, you know, yeah. so. Oh. Yeah. All right, Mike, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us. Um, Sapori means taste. Uh, the, the chefs there are both culinary trained. Uh, they will cater things to your your wishes, so it is a family place, and uh, it's just uh, it's it's my favorite place. All right, um, I'd say that there's probably lots of other um, Italian restaurants in the Bay Area that I'd prefer to try, so I probably would not make the trek down okay. back to Burlingame. And, and I'd say if you're gonna go there, go to the bar. It was very convivial and warm, and have a glass of wine because they had a fabulous Italian wine list and maybe skip the food. <laughs> okay, if you would like to try Sapore Italiano Ristorante, it's on Burlingame Avenue at El Camino Real in Burlingame. The telephone number is 650-348-3277. It's open for lunch and dinner every day. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30.